Hi, and welcome back to The Infected, Episode 7. Since the last episode, I put signs up all around the fence to stop zombies from attacking it, so we'll see how that goes in this episode. During the blizzard, I went around fixing my fence. Still freezing? For real? Okay. Well, let's get inside then while there's a blizzard. I decided to make a crossbow, but I won't be using it yet because the ammo is very expensive. Crossbow. Nice. There it is. It's like right on the side. There we go. Okay, cool. So this has 400 health. Okay, let's go to our next one. Oh, that one opens this way. And... Boom. That one also opens this way. Okay, let's try out the gates. Yep, he's smashing my gate up. <laughs> this one seems pretty easy. I don't know what I would necessarily use it for. The mixer isn't something I need right now, but later in the game will be really helpful. Stone grinder. Arrow cry 100. Grind small stones into sand and iron fragments. Each stone roll will provide 10 sand and 2 iron fragments, it takes 20 minutes to grind each stone. So apparently this is really good. So like you really want to get this up and going. Because smelting stones gives you one iron fragment. It just doubles that. And an oil extractor. tried to get some sleep but then a horde event was activated so I dealt with it and then went to bed I headed to my local village to look for some much needed materials so for once we're actually in a village to not look for technology and just to Look for other stuff like Kevlar and blah blah blah. That would be. Fuck me! Oh fuck, can he come upstairs? What? What? I was not expecting that. I was not expecting to try and come upstairs, bro. Can't do this shit to me. Where are you, Mr. Bear? Aim in the house. Where is it? It's attacked me from like fucking nowhere. Where is it? I'm just trapped in this house now. Forever. This is my life. Fucking put down a foundation. This is my life right here. I'm gonna die. Yep. Dude. What the fuck? What the hell? It full on trapped me upstairs. So after getting killed by a bear that trapped me upstairs, I decided to head back to the local village and we'll finish off the bear because I knew I couldn't be safe in the village or at least feel safe in there while the bear was still in the house. Is it stuck? Nice. I don't even need the bear. I just didn't want fucking freaking me out and shit. 
Okay, let's let's have a look at our hall. Basically, we got. If I move this, okay. Yeah, I'll just move this till winter. That'll work. And then once I get the water house going, they can water themselves. Okay, truck. Let's go get out of that. Exactly, you see what I'm saying? Oh wait, there we go. 20. I nearly have 20 in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, I know there's no free inventory space, bro. I headed off to the aluminium cave, which again was really far away. I was now finally at the cave. I went inside and realized, wow, I just wish I had enough iron to build the second mineral extractor. I had a look to see how much aluminium my mineral extractor had gotten it, and wow, there was so much. I took it all, put it all on my storage crates, and then refueled the mineral extractor and left the cave. Power on. And that should get us some stuff. Now we're gonna head to the nearby village. Gave me a little bit. Someone said to me, uh, it kind of sounds like a horse running. And since they've said that, I'm just like, that's all I hear now. Oh, I need that plant. And again, where's the bear? Where's the bear? There we go, that's how you do that. No. I wanted to grab my arrows. Okay. Yeah, so I was in here and I heard the bear. I don't think there's anything else in here really though. What, 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 what? I searched the village for anything I could find that would be useful like Kevlar mechanical parts or electrical parts and then I headed back to my cart and put it all away. I think it's just time to go home now. Okay. Drop that there. Food, plant beds. And we're placing them this way. Let's keep that up. I was running out of vegetables, so I decided to plant a lot more plant beds so I could grow a lot more fruit and vegetables. I thought it would be easy because they're just planks, but I forgot about the nails which require iron. So we need planks and nails, wow, okay. This is saw benches outside so I could cut logs a lot easier and free up some space inside. And I still have the one now left.
Yeah, I would like to have one of these, but you need the pumpkin. Yeah, that's pumpkin done. I've eaten all the pumpkins I've come across. Uh, another pumpkin. Let's make another one. Furniture. Well, actually, I'll have to move them, so. Um, where should I put them? I feel like at the front of your house is just too cliche. I could put them at the gates. One at like each gate for now, and then two, and then. One like here. I can never find this area, so I'll put one over here. Bam. This, is, this this should probably be a horde night. Yep. Called it. It gets pretty easy to tell by day 34. Oh! There's a lot over here. Wait a second. Okay, yeah, they're destroying it. I like that it doesn't cost materials. To sharpen your tools and and all that, you know? You just make the thing and then you can sharpen it whenever you want. Thank you for watching everyone, please like, subscribe and hit the bell button and comment anything you want to see me do or any games you want me to play. I also stream on Twitch if you want to check that out and I also post small clips to Instagram and TikTok so go check those out as well. And if you want to see my build height guide on this game, click this video right here. Thanks for watching and see you in episode 8.